Welcome to the first video of 2022. Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome back. We're gonna kick the year off with five hidden features inside Adobe Premiere Pro that you probably don't know about yet. Starting off with the first feature, we're going to head over to the menu on top, choose File, and then all the way on the bottom sits Project Manager. Now, not many people know actually about this feature, but it's super useful. Say you're making an edit with some archive footage, some new shots, perhaps, you've downloaded some assets off from Storyblocks, and it's just a big mess in your project. Now for starters, we can choose to make a copy of all those media files into the folder of your project or somewhere else if you wish. Basically bringing everything together nicely organized. Or we could transcode all of those media files into a new format choosing your desired codec. And say that we've imported videos of two hours long but only using a couple of seconds from it. Now it will only transcode that part and make your entire project much lighter. There's even an option to add some handles to those clips giving you a little room to play with. There, the more you know. Hidden feature number two, we all know that we can create keyframes on the audio of a clip, usually to duck it for dialogue or music that these are keyframes on the clip itself. If we move the clip, those keyframes will move with it. But now let's locate the keyframe button in the track. From here, we can choose the track keyframes volume. We get a new keyframeable line, which is for the entire track. And this means that whenever we move a clip now, those keyframes will stay. Very useful for if you have your dialogue already in place and you're not sure yet what music to use. Well, you can already have your keyframes in place and simply swap out any clip. And you might think, now Jordy, where do you get all of this Premiere knowledge? Well, I eat Premiere for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. You can check out my beginner's course in which I teach you the entire basics in a well-structured way, which helps you to get going with Premiere Pro much faster. And you can then jump into my advanced course to learn all the rest there is of Adobe Premiere Pro, and so you can find those hidden features yourself. Combined, over 100,000 students have taken these courses and the reviews have been overwhelmingly positive. I hope to see you in my class as well well, simply click the first link in the description down below for all the information. And now, continuing with hidden feature number three. For this one, we're going to open up the Essential Graphics window. Now, from the Edit tab, we could add a new text layer and create graphics. Nothing special, but did you know that you could also add photos or videos in here? That's right, from the New Item button, choose File and import a video. And this is super useful as everything sits within one graphics layer in your timeline and we could use this video clip in the essential graphics. For instance, with my text layer selected, I enable mask with text on the bottom, and this will create that text video cutout effect without any complicated steps. This also allows us to make templates within Premiere Pro using media files where everything sits within one layer. Super useful. Hidden feature number four is more of a UI thing rather than a feature, but I know that many of you guys will find this useful. So we can drag windows around and dock them to create multiple tabs on top. We've actually created a panel group now. And when we right click on top, we can find back some panel group settings. We could undock that entire group, making it function as an actual window, or we can choose to stack all the panels. And now they work just like in the Lumetri panel. One panel automatically collapses as we expand another. This is called the solo mode, which we can disable from that same settings menu. And now these panels stay open when we click around. And as mentioned before, we are familiar with this kind of stacking from the Lumetri panel. So from here, we can also find the solo option and perhaps disable that. This way we can expand all sub panels. And by the way, when holding down control and clicking on a sub tab, we can expand or collapse all of them at once. There you go, advanced tricks with Premiere panels. Now that's definitely going to impress the girls. And this brings us to the last hidden feature, which is something really small and stupid. And no, I'm not talking about my- When you have created a new graphics layer, you can find it's back in the timeline. But what if you want to use it in other projects or somewhere else in your edit? Do you have to copy and paste that layer every time? If only there was a way to bring this graphics layer into the projects panel. Well, there is! With your graphics layer selected, head over to the menu on top, Graphics, and choose Upgrade to Source Graphics. And bam, it's upgraded to an actual file in your project window. And those were the five hidden features. I hope you found something useful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my courses. And as always, stay creative. And now click the video here on my left to see more from your Pro Tutorial videos. There you go. More where that came from. Mm, or subscribe, you can also do that.